So this is Oscar's dinner. You got a chicken, half of a chicken back on the bottom side. You got uh, half of a freezer dried or freezer burnt uh, salmon uh, filet, which Amos got the other half of. And these are ribs. So these are beef rib uh, bones with uh, meat left on them with some ground beef and ground pork mixture that is beef scraps from uh, Mr. Prime Beef. So a pretty good sized meal. We're doing one meal today, so this is a big one. And we're trying to put weight on him, so he's getting a nice meal. And he is patiently waiting. So we're going to get him out of the kennel. Um, let me set that down a second. Got the kennel right under the TV, which is a good central location. Oscar, sit. Stay. Good boy. We can see Amos is out here eating his already. He saw something that's got his attention. Okay, Oscar, sit. Good boy. The porch is pretty messy after the snow melt. You get to see all the junk that was lost in the snow, cardboard, and that's Phoebe, the neighbor dog, tears up any cardboard you leave out here. That's off of the box of uh, snow melt, rock ice that she tore up. She tore up the poop scooper, too. So he's down the fish. No, there's a, it's still there. He's working on the ground meat and the rib bones. They're not really rib bones. They're um, where the rib cage meets the uh, abdomen area. It's called the what we called the bookend back on the farm, where there's not much meat on them, so they just scrap them. The meats and pieced off into the other parts of other cuts. There at that end. Into the steak cuts. He likes them. He's going for them before the fish, which is surprising. Most of our dogs go for the fish first. Boy, he knows how to work those bones. He's fairly new to raw feeding, but he's getting with it. He's really chewing them well, too. You can hear them crunching down into the right tech, uh, consistency to swallow. He's doing a great job. Sheila's not very good at it. She sometimes throws them back up. Usually it's just a little bitty piece with a little clear liquid. <clears throat> a little queer liquid and a little bit of bone. But she doesn't always get them done right. He seems to be doing a really good job.
both of these dogs get quite a bit more food than Sheila, Piper, or Muddy. Um, Muddy is not, she's about the right fitness. Um, Piper is a little chubby. Sheila is more than a little chubby, but not fat. Uh, but none of them seem to have the same uh, calorie burning capacity as these two dogs or uh, metabolism rate because um, they just can't eat as much. You know, you give Sheila a meal this size and, and she'll look like she's put on five pounds the next day. And yet these two dogs are always looking skinny no matter how much you feed them. Of course, they're both young, so that plays into it. But that's not all of it. They really do. These two do burn a lot of calories. They're both hot dogs. They both drink a lot of water. Both pant a lot. So that's burning fat. So there goes the fish fillet down the hatch. They make pretty quick work of that. It's easy to eat. And there's the chicken. Last thing left. He's really working it. That's a good sign. He's not eating it fast. He's really breaking it up good. Chomping on it. Really pulverizing it. And that's very important. Now I almost he'll eat it in about three or four bites, but he's got a method of his own where he really chomps it. He chomps it on one side and then crosses it through his mouth, turning it around, chomps it again, then moves it to the center and chomps it and then turns it around and down the hatch. It's pretty impressive, but most dogs would do what, all, what Oscar's doing here and uh, really pulverize it and drop it and turn it around and pulverize it some more and break it up. He's doing a very good job of eating it, which makes you not have any concern about his ability to process and digest it. You're doing a good job. I mean, very few dogs have a problem with that anyway, but in the beginning, they can do it wrong. It certainly won't hurt them, uh, but from time to time, they'll bring it back up or poop out too much of the good stuff. But they learn within a couple or three weeks of how to deal with it. Even in the first three weeks, so it's good for them. They just do it better as they go. He is really pulverizing that thing. Never seen a dog eat one this slow. But I like it. I wish Amos would eat his this slow. gone. That's it. Now we'll let him out to go poop. We've almost lost all of our snow here in Anchorage. In Glen Allen the whole yard's still covered with a couple of feet. <clears throat> about two feet of snow. But we've just about lost it all here. And you can now see all the trash is showing up. All the bones from the winter that got snowed over. A couple of bones out there. There's bones all over the place. There's one down there. They go ahead and work on them some more now now that they've come back. Now Amos will come see Oscar's food and Oscar will go see his food.
that's the common ritual. Now nah, he knows Amos is gone. He don't come back up here and check this again. <laughs>